Hello, my name is Kate, and today I will be showing you how to draw a realistic eye. Realistic eyes are very easy to draw if you have the right technique. This technique will only take you about 15 minutes to draw the whole eye. What you will need is a piece of paper. I have a few backup pieces in case I mess up. A Q-tip. You can also use a drawing blending tool, but not many people have that, so a Q-tip is fine. I will be demonstrating with a Q-tip. A pencil preferably sharpened, and an eraser. It doesn't have to be on the pencil, that's just how mine is. Let's get started. Okay, step one in drawing a realistic eye is to make the shape of the eye. Here's how it should look. So just draw a line down, kind of like that, and then draw a slightly longer line going to the side. Like that. It doesn't have to be super straight, just as straight as you can get it. So you kind of have a shape like this. Next, you'll kind of try to connect to these lines. Draw pretty lightly because you're gonna have to blend this in a bit. Like that. And then... That. And then draw a little less curved on the bottom, kind of like... So that is the shape of your eye. Just make sure to make like a little line because this is like the scent, well like the outside of your eye. Kind of like that. And then go ahead and erase the part in the inside because you don't want that from your final product. There, that's the shape of the eye. The next step is to draw the iris, which is like the outside, and then the pupil, which is a little dot on the inside. So for the iris, just try to draw a pretty straight circle. Not too big, not covering the whole eye, just kind of like. That. And then draw the little pupil. Make just a smaller circle in the middle. Don't make it very big, because pupils are not that big. So it should look kind of like that, and just color it in. Okay, moving on to step three. This is where we color in the iris. So first I would make kind of like almost U's or W's on the outside, kind of like this. It's okay if they don't look exactly like mine. They're all gonna look pretty different. And then color that in. Once you're done coloring that in, get your Q-tip and use the tip of it right there to kind of blend this in so it looks a bit more natural. Mine looks like this. That is only the start. We still have to do the rest of the eye. So, then this is optional. I like doing this stuff because I think it makes it look a bit more realistic. You can take the pupil in the center and kind of do like this on the outside, kind of like spread it out, because then it'll blend the outside and then it'll look a bit darker. Like that. It might take away some of the color in the inside, so you might have to do another little layer for the pupil. There. Okay, so the eye doesn't look too realistic quite yet. So the next step is to take your pencil and just do some lines like this on the outside. Make them pretty dark, like you can see so far. Like that. And then I'm gonna make mine a tiny bit darker so it looks a bit more realistic. And then write really hard for this part, but draw kind of like a jaggedy line, kind of like that on the little inside. And then inside of that, draw a, use your pencil like a bit lighter than you did on the outside, kind of like that and see how the outside is a bit darker. That's what you want. And then complete going around on the outside. So now that you have that done, you might want to do a little bit of blending on the outside so it doesn't look so much like pencil. Kind of like. Like 
that. So it looks a bit more realistic. I don't love how mine's super dark, so I'm gonna go just in lightly with my eraser and make it a bit brighter. You can do this, it's very easy to do. the iris of the eye. Now going to the shading of the outside. Okay so for blending the outside of the eye to make it a bit more realistic first just like take the outside to see if you have a little line. Take your q-tip and just kind of like spread the line in and make like curved kind of like that. See how now it looks a bit shaded? Do that on both sides. Like that. Next, it's time for the eyelid. The eyelid should look kind of like the top of the eye, but just separate it a little, kind of like. That. And then you definitely need to blend the eye a bit, the eyelid, like. I like drawing a little bit below the eye, kind of like this. Make sure the end gets very shaded, like that. And then go in with your Q-tip and just do this over the whole thing. And the end should be a bit darker than the rest of it. Like that. I'm gonna go over and blend it a bit. Okay, next, you probably noticed in your eye you have a bit of like a bottom lid too, kind of like. And maybe something for here too, like that. So make that shape, kind of like a curved V over here. And also blend that to make it look a bit more realistic. Like so. Okay, the next step we have are the eyelashes. The first step for the eyelashes are make kind of a curved line over here, like that. It can be a bit longer, a bit shorter if you want. That's the length I'm gonna make it. And then kind of a straight line going up here, like that. Make it a bit shorter than the one on the outside. And then make an even shorter one over here. Maybe that long, make mine a bit longer. Like that. Next, start going and filling in the eyelashes. Kind of like this. Like make another line that's very similar to it and just kind of make a whole bunch of lines like that. It's okay if you put a little in the eye that makes it look even more realistic. Okay. Now it's time for the bottom lashes. For the bottom lashes, start with making a line like inside of your eye, kind of like that. Make a line kind of like that, so this is the outside of the eye, and this is the line you just made. And stop it about like where the middle of the iris is. Kind of stop it around there. And then you do the same thing at the top. You make a lash like here. Make sure to make it in this little section here. Make one there. Make them a little shorter than your top lashes because bottom lashes are naturally a bit shorter. Maybe one in the middle like that and one on the side, a bit shorter than the one on the other side. Like that. And then fill that side in too. This part will be pretty short. It's just filling in this little part of the eye. So just kind of fill it in, but keep like one spot of the eye without any filling in, like one little square, kind of like 
this. That'll be like where it reflects. And then shade that in. Like that. I'm gonna erase it a little bit because it might have been a little bit too hard. Like that. This part is optional, but I like making the eyebrow on top. So maybe put like your knuckle about where the eye starts and mark it there for that's where about the eyebrow will be. You can make it shorter or farther, but that's normally where I put it. And then the eyebrow kind of make a curved line going slightly upwards, kind of like that. And then make it go down, like curve the edge and make it go down a bit. Like that. Okay, next make kind of like a curved line right at the top. This is how thick your eyebrow is going to be. So I'm making it like that. And then go over it like this. Just mirror the same line, but make sure you curve it a little more at the end so then they go together like that. Okay, next, I'm gonna make my line a little bit less dark because you don't really want to see this line at the end. Like that, you can't see it too much. You can see it a bit. And then go in and make just some lines that look a bit like hair, like. Some curved lines in the beginning. And then go make some lines kind of like this. Make it a little like that. And then go to the very end like this. 